an unsettling situation in Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, to be exact. It's been revealed 215 bodies were buried in unmarked graves. At the Hines County Pauper Cemetery, Dexter Wade is buried in plot number 672. Wade was laid to rest after his mother reported him missing earlier this year. It took police months to let the family know what happened to Wade. Well, mothers are demanding justice after they discover their sons died and were buried in unmarked graves in Hines County. 12 News' Tia McKenzie is live from the Raymond Detention Center with the full story. Tia? We have a very disturbing story. It comes from Jackson, Mississippi, where a woman says that authorities waited months to tell her that her son had been struck and killed by an off-duty police officer in his cruiser. An investigation by a CNN affiliate has revealed Jackson, Mississippi's police department did not publicly disclose the names of dozens of homicide victims this year. Jackson, Mississippi. 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 How, how did we end up here? Before we start, I'm one of the most pro-police people you'll ever meet. But when something like this happens, it's, it's really hard to ignore it and say that the police did nothing wrong. With that said, this discovery of 215 bodies was made about two months ago, after months and months of an activist looking for a specific person that was missing since March. What were the officials in the jail thinking? Like what, nobody would notice? Uh, on what planet did they think that this was okay? Family members were actively looking for their missing loved ones and were contacting detectives on a regular basis just in hopes for an update or, or some information, something to either get closure or to find answers to what happened to their loved ones. And all they got in return was just a runaround. It took a local news station to make the discovery and put two and two together. Meanwhile, the so-called detectives were sitting on their lazy asses doing absolutely nothing. This is all information that could have been found very quickly. If they had bothered themselves to look at a computer, maybe put the donut down long enough to figure it out, and do some actual detective work for a change. You know, I'm, I'm sure they would have worked a lot harder if it was one of their family members that was missing or somebody they cared about. They would have done a lot more work and been a little bit more proactive. That is just pure laziness at, at its finest. If you are that unhappy with your job, then go find another one. Go do something else. If you're not going to be a cop and you're not going to actually do your job, then go do something else. We don't need people like you representing a police agency when you can't even do your damn job. On to the uh, Popper Cemetery, and I have a whole bunch of questions. It was reported that the bodies were buried in body bags in shallow graves. A strong odor of decomposing bodies was permeating the air, and there were buzzards circling around overhead. That is just beyond disgusting, and it's a major health hazard. The CDC has specific guidelines on how to properly bury human remains. A pauper cemetery is a place to bury unknown or unclaimed people. So my questions are, one, are your brains so completely wired backwards that you thought it was safe to bury bodies in such a repugnant manner? Question two is, any in-custody deaths are required to be handed over to the medical examiner. That didn't happen. What are you trying to hide? Question three is, is the FBI investigating this? Uh, I looked all through their website. I found nothing pertaining to this case. This does appear to be a civil rights violation that the FBI claims they investigate. So what are they doing? Question four is, 
What are you doing for the families now? Now that you've been exposed? And question five, what will your defense be in court justifying your disgusting actions? That's just a few of my whole host of questions that I have. The officials told a civil rights activist by the name of Arthur Reed that they would exhume one of the bodies as per his request at 12 noon on, on some specific date that was not disclosed. But instead, the officials ended up exhuming the body early in the morning, approximately 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, while telling the activists, we're not going to allow you to embarrass us like that. It's a little too late for that, pal. You should have been embarrassed a long time ago. I did call the jail and I talked to the watch commander and I was met with a bunch of no comments, which I was pretty much expecting. Anyway, that will be it for this video. I will provide links to all the information in the description below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that little bell notification right in the nose. And thanks for watching.